Hello and welcome to Stories from India, a podcast where we talk about myths, legends and folk tales from India. I'm your host Narad Muni and I'm a mythological character myself. I have the gift of eternal life and knowledge of the past, the present and the future. By profession, I'm a traveling musician and a storyteller. So the way I'm doing my job is by podcast. One correction on the previous episode that I'd like to mention. I called Chandragupta Maurya a king in medieval India. Actually, he was a king in ancient India. In addition, I'll also point out in response to some listener feedback that there are other versions of the Shivaji stories. Notably, one of them takes the opposite view that the old lady taught Shivaji a defense trick, not an offense one. It had to do with building a little well with rice walls to prevent the curry from spreading. In today's mini episode, we'll meet Jarasand. Jarasand is a character from the Mahabharat. He was Krishna's uncle's father-in-law. He has an interesting birth story. I like to think of him as the Lego king because when he was born he came with a some assembly required label Brihadrath was the king of Magadh back in the ancient indian days when marriages were more of a trade deal between royal families Brihadrath had just married the twin daughters of the king of Kashi as time went on and Brihadrath aged he continued to worry about not having an heir so when a visiting rishi chandra kaushik was passing by brihadrath plied him with the finest hospitality package in his palace and prayed for a son in exchange chandra kaushik gave him a mango what am i going to do with the mango Is this like the mango from the Vikram Betal episodes? He asked the Rishi. No, just let your wife eat it and that might solve your problems, replied the Rishi. But how will it solve my problems if she eats it? asked the king. But the Rishi had already departed. The Rishi had also said ask your wife to eat it, not wives. Well, Brihadrath couldn't really discriminate between his wives, could he? So he split the mango and gave half to each. And much later, his wives gave birth. For a king who ended up marrying two princesses instead of one, imagine the disappointment when instead of two babies, each of his wives gave birth to half a baby instead. And that was a horrifying sight the half babies were motionless brihadrath and his wives were disappointed but curiously no one tried to bring the two halves closer together no one except a rakshasi the rakshasi jara found the disposed halves of the baby she showed a little bit more curiosity than everyone else the moment she brought the two halves together they clicked just like a magnet and miracle of miracles the baby began to cry it was alive the rakshasi was sensible she took the baby back to the king this time the king welcomed his crying son with open arms he called the baby jarasand Jarasand grew up to be a strong man undefeatable Jarasand's daughters were married to Kans Krishna's evil uncle Jarasand looked on Kans as his own son so when Krishna fought Kans that automatically made Jarasand his enemy as i said Jarasand was undefeatable people had tried 
But every time anyone tried to disassemble him, he would magically assemble again. Except, finally, when Bhim tried. Bhim was the strongest of the Pandav brothers. He challenged Jarasan to a duel. He had no problems disassembling Jarasan, but the king kept assembling back. Bhim was getting frustrated now. Krishna provided a bit of ringside coaching. He picked up a little branch, broke it in half, and tossed the left one to his right and the right piece to his left. Ah, it's just like a magnet, thought Bhim. Reverse the polarity and the pieces don't attract, they repel. He did to Jarasandh what Krishna had done to the branch. And this time, Jarasandh stayed disassembled. That's all for this mini episode. In this weekend's full episode, we'll do a folktale from Rajasthan. We'll meet a little girl who gets into big trouble just because she forgot to lock one door at night. Even though there were six other locked doors between her and two very hungry demons. If you have comments or suggestions, please leave a comment or a review on the site sfipodcast.com or tweet at sfipodcast. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. Be sure to subscribe to the show to get notified automatically of new episodes. Thanks to all your listeners for your continued support and your feedback. The music is from purpleplanet.com. That's purple-planet.com. I'll see you later.